Hi there, Sammy. How's it going? It's Raymond Ramirez, your realtor here. I just want to shoot you a quick video. Uh, I saw you viewed this property a couple of times, 4630 North Totalita Road. Um, bedroom, two bathroom with a, a one bedroom, one bathroom guest house. Beautiful views right off uh, Tortolita Road. There isn't quite a lot of traffic on this road. And here's the lot. So the lot actually goes a little bit further out and down. And uh, same over here on this side, a little bit further out and down. I'll show you exactly where the lot ends. But yeah, some good parking here outside. Um, so here on the side, you'll find a little walkway. I'll show you the outside before we go inside. Uh, find a little walkway which leads you to the guest house. So this is the end exit to the guest house. The kitchen is here and um, the bathroom, the bedroom, etc. And then this is your main patio area. That is the master bedroom. So your the lot, it's about a little over an acre, 1.17 acres. It goes further out. So you own just all, all of this down here. Um, and like I said, as well, it goes further out that way. You own all of this right here. So it's a decent lot size. Definitely, um, you know, possibility to extend the patio a little bit and really get some better use of it than it uh, has now. The property is on septic, um, so not a bad thing. Just need to make sure, uh, you know, when the last time it was cleaned, etc. The home is currently listed at 515,000. You see the traffic going by. It's a uh, traffic hour right now, it's about 5.30 p.m. So here's the entrance to the two car garage and then right back there is the entrance to the one bed and one bath guest house. Take a look at the side over here. Nice little walkway to the back. So here's the main entrance. So the main home is a three bedroom, two bath. Uh, 1700 square foot and then you do have a fireplace here storage quite a bit of space here All the appliances are newer, if not brand new. Here's your washer and dryer hookup. More cabinets. Storage. Water heater looks newer. And you have a little sink. There's the guest house. So Exploring the uh, primary home, to the right is the first bedroom. And you have a closet in here. Closet space is minimal. And then to the left you have the first bedroom. Or sorry, the uh, first bathroom. So when you have guests or family, the bathroom is very easily accessible. And then master bedroom second bedroom so the first and second bedroom are pretty similar in size i'd say the closet is a little bit bigger 
in the second bedroom. And you do have some views. If the sun would come up this way. Um, so the way the home faces, the home faces west. So you would be able to see the sunsets, which I'll uh, show you what that looks like. This is a master bedroom. Plenty of closet space. So there's more closet space and more closet space. Very big, big room overall. Here's the master bathroom. So like I said, this is a very big bedroom overall. And then his and hers closet spaces. So the master is fairly big. After this, we'll check out the guest house and the garage. So here is the patio space that we saw earlier. So like I mentioned, we'd be seeing the sun rise from right over here where these mountains are. Right there. Right there. It's about where the sun rises. Um, you can tell the home has been completely renovated. Uh, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, there are a couple of home flippers here in Tucson that uh, are known for flipping, right? That's all they do. And um, they do a good job at it. And there are some flippers that don't do a great job and uh, are known for not doing a great job. Uh, either way, we would get all of our inspections done at this property. Um, whether you're looking to do something today or you know, three, four, five, six, seven months from now, um, whenever that time comes, we'll be doing the inspections necessary to make sure you're buying a whole home. You know, the roof isn't falling down. There isn't major foundation issues, etc. So this is the guest house. This is the first bed bathroom, only bathroom. So when the family comes, daughters, what have you, you have that extra space where you say, yeah, go ahead, use the guest house. So this is the one and only bedroom here. Smaller, smaller room overall, but you do have that flexibility to be able to say, go ahead and use the guest house. Looks like it's not working properly. This is more storage where the uh, washer and dryer would go. And this one doesn't look like it's working properly. This is your water heater. Both of the water heaters look fairly new and both of the units. And then the kitchen. The kitchen's a little smaller, but they have their own space. I, I think that's kind of the entire point with the guest house. Um, a little couch, maybe a, a TV on this wall, perhaps. A cabinet space. And then here's the exit. You have better views from the guest exit of the foothills. So that's Mount Lemon up there, as well as the Catalina foothills, etc. cetera. Um, I know you and the wife mentioned you didn't want to be too close to the border. 
this is, um, I'd say downtown is maybe a 15 minute drive. Um, and to the border, it's approximately a two hour drive, depending on where you go. Um, there's some places that it's about an hour and a half from here. So beautiful home overall. And like I mentioned, it is listed at 515,000. They originally started at 550,000, um, but have come down over time because it just has not sold. So this garage is a two car garage, but I can tell you right now, you could definitely fit quite a bit more because it, it's very spacious in here. So, that concludes the tour. If you have any questions, Samuel, I'm more than happy to answer them for you. The sun would set right around here. Right there. Look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great rest of your day, Samuel. Raymond Ramirez here. Bye-bye.